Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to Wednesdays with Larawana. Every Wednesday right here on CanawanaBuy.com, we're bringing the latest information on adult use and medical marijuana from all over the world. This week, a new technique, and of course, things are changing all the time in this industry. Rosin Tech, the next big thing in hash oil. This is written by Glenn Ratcliffe from the THC Insider, and that's at uh, thcuniversity.org. If you haven't already heard of it by now, get ready to be introduced to a major game changer in the dab game. Rosin is a brand new type of marijuana concentrate that was developed earlier this year by Soil Grown Sal. It's got everyone talking because this new exciting substance is completely solventless and pretty darn easy to make. Rosin is named as such because of the method for making it is in the same vein as making violin rosin. Both of the processes involve heat extraction, but rosin hash can be made safely in your own home. Even more exciting is the only materials you'll need is a standard hair straightener and some parchment paper. And by simply placing a little nug between some parchment paper and firmly squeezing it with the hair straightener, you can get some incredibly clean, tasty hash. Here's what we're talking about. This is a uh, hair straightener uh, with uh, Teflon pads, and uh, this is the parchment paper. So you just put a nug in between the paper, fold it over, and squeeze this, and uh, that's how you make this oil. And we'll go on from there. Rosin uh, is still pretty new, so everyone is eagerly experimenting to unlock its true potential. Some of the main reasons rosin has people so interested in it is because of its potentially high yields, health benefits, and the simple and safe extraction process. Some people have reported yields as high as 25%. However, yields seem to be very inconsistent. Uh, they usually vary between 8 and 16% with the, with the heat of your flat iron and the amount of pressure and time applied to uh, being used for the main variables. So you have to be able to press it, and we'll get into that in a second. Uh, another option is to press bubble hash into rosin to make it dabbable full melt. When doing this, yields can be drastically higher in the 70 to 80% range. The potency of rosin isn't as high as BHO, and it can get a bit tedious, but knowing for certain that there isn't any butane in your concentrates uh, might be worth the peace of mind. Rosin Tech is still in its infancy. Every day, extract, art, extract artists are experimenting and uh, perfecting this new method. Some have had success with t-shirt presses to extract larger amounts more quickly. The best part of the rosin has to, uh, the best part about rosin has got to be the fact that it could be given to thousands of patients access to a way to make their own clean medicine safely uh, in a non-medical state. You could, of course, use this yourself. Uh, the second best might be uh, just how great and awesome and tasty this is. Not using uh, BHO or alcohol, uh, those are the solvents, and there's other solvents that places use as well. This is very, very clean. The ideal temperature has been said to be between 230 and 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, you just have to put the bud in between that paper and then put it between the uh, uh, hair straightener and press it for three to five seconds. And then when you open it up, the bud is very flat. You take it off, you scrape up with a little uh, uh, scraper the, uh, uh, the oil that's on the bottom of the paper, and uh, you start collecting it. Uh, I've been told that if you start with two grams uh, of, uh, of uh, bud, you can get a very nice dab. So that's it for this week. And of course, uh, Can I Want to Buy has great products probably for dabbing and for all kinds of cannabis needs, whether you're a uh, patient, a adult user, a uh, head shop, great products, fast shipping, great prices, canawanabuy.com. Don't forget my weekly medical marijuana radio show every Saturday night, a new show at mmjradio.com. Peace and love, everybody. Peace and love. That's it for this week's Wednesdays with Larawana.